Howdy friends and welcome again to the Chef and the Grape.com. I am your host, Chef Christophe. And tonight it's this, the wines of saint emilion and Chateau Le Prieur, uh, which is a saint emilion Grand Cru, Grand Cru Classé, vintage 2011. So this is a property that's uh, um, owned by the Rich Richard family. And <clears throat> it's indif indicative of a, a certain level of quality in saint emilion when it no longer is just a Merlot blend. But this one, just go ahead and take a look at the back there, 80% Merlot and 20% Cab Franc. So to give an example, a winery like, um, oh, name eludes me right now, but uh, top tier saint emilion will get up to, let's say 50% of each, 50% Merlot, 50% Cab Franc. And that's considered to be the absolute top echelon of saint emilion Now this wine has scored as high as I believe 92 points a spectator and I have to say I don't get it I really have no idea what they were thinking maybe I've got a little bottle variation or maybe because it's a small bottle maybe it's just aged too much but in the nose I mean on the nose it has some some rusted charm um, there's some some red and some dark berry tones, a bit of wild herbaceousness, um, hints of minerality. But it's not really complex. There's not tons there. You have to really dig in to to get a lot out of that nose. And then on the palate, it's bright, it's brisk, it's lean, it's refreshing. It's delightful, except it's um, it's fairly monotone. There's not tons of nuance to this. There's not tons of dimension. The berry tones are there, and the sort of saline, um, warm earth tones are there. There's a savory quality to it, but um, not the most complex wine I've ever tasted. Uh, very far from it. I would uh, I would actually score this. 89 points it's uh, it's not quite international level quality but it is above uh, village quality um, these are just my impressions who knows like I said could be bottle variation could be because it's a small bottle and six years old it's just aged uh, prematurely um, maybe it just didn't do well on the trip who knows uh, but these are my thoughts and as always I look forward to a little feedback from those of you who might have tried this wine before, please uh, send me your comments. Twitter at A Student of Wine, on Facebook at Christoph Galise, or uh, on my business page at thechefandthegrape.com. I hope you enjoy this, arguably far more than I did.